reach. And facing him, it's Sugar Ray Leonard. He has a reach of 70.5 inches, weighed in at an even 145 pounds. Todd, this is well anticipated. I'm so looking forward to this, Terrell. These two are really up for it. You know what? Nobody believes they're going to lose. And here he is, Bud Terrence Crawford, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. He also can crack at welterweight, one of the best to ever do it. Sugar Ray Leonard, an undisputed welterweight champion, and he won world titles in five weight classes. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at that. And now it's time for the official introductions. And for that, we go to the Hall of Famer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three-division champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting one of the all-time greats, the Hall of Fame legend of boxing, a five-division champion of the world, introducing Sugar Ray Leonard. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. This is going to be that fight. This is what people are going to be talking about forever and a day. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. Yeah. You can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. It's all offense, all the time. he absorbed that hook. So much pre-match drama before this showdown. Who could forget what we saw yesterday at the weigh-in? These two boxers are finally ready to get it on. This is not just hype. We are in for something special tonight. What an arena, what an atmosphere, what a build-up. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just missed with that left jab. Beautiful counter shot. One punch could change everything in this battle. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. They both want a knockout, you can tell. Nice punch. Most 
stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Good counter punching from both these fighters. No rest for the weary. A perfect counter shot. Missed him with that uppercut. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Lands with the right counter. about a one-sided three minutes we just saw it. dominance without a doubt made look so so easy let's get it started in round three well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through willpower, calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. And he misses with the left uppercut. They're both trying for a knockout. So much for boxing. This is a fight. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Good counter punch. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight, because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. to the fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. 
because you know what you can do in the gyms, you can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. You've heard the phrase, finding a second wind. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. No rest for the weary. These punches coming from every angle. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe to toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. That left counter punch will score. The courage on display here is... This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And a corner has got to... Back into the fray here in round five. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strengths they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. He misses with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Trying to answer back. The exchange punches. He missed with that jab. One of the best rounds I've seen this year. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. Let's start the six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Six. 
So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Nice job landing that left counter punch. No rest for the weary. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're gonna find out. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Nice counter shot. Through the hook, didn't land. What a punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. There's the bell to start round seven. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. He just misses with that big right hand. A scoring left hand. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? This is some of the best action I've this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy.
Time winding down as we get set for another round. There's the bell to start round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. These two were made for each other. seen in the past from this fighter they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment it's the one who draws first blood Todd that's what you've got to look at if you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger you've got to be on it but you've got to be confident some nice exchanges from both men in this round Big left, but doesn't score with it. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. This is a high octane battle. Right punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight, because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. See how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Counter punching. There's a right hand. Not a lot of defense here at all. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He gets out of the way of that left hand. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. Catch and shoot. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. It's 
no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the corner man's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. And there's the bell to start round 10. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot. And that's when they catch you. Great counter right hand there. Two fighters are made for one another. Hey, those punches add up. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. go in the championship rounds round 11 well there's no doubt about who won that last round let's see what he has for us here in the next one these two were made for each other punch counter punch Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. No rest for the weary. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. Counter left. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just misses with that jab. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means. But they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. He misses with that jab. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Off the charts act. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go.
the counter land. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the corner's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. the bell for round 12. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Good counter left hand there. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Good counter right hand again. No rest for the weary. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. There's a counter shot. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them nonstop. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. No power in those punches. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Some might have thought the fight a little bit closer, but the judges are in agreement. A unanimous decision win. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight. What a style. What a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This is... I didn't see that coming. I thought this would be tight. This is nowhere near tight.